My Tesla stock price target for year end 2024 is $3,000 per share. In 2024, I am expecting the two biggest catalysts to date in the history of Tesla. Robo taxis doing their first fully autonomous fares somewhere on planet Earth, most likely in the US, maybe in China, and the release of the $25,000 Tesla, aka the Tesla Q. Please, if anyone at Tesla is watching, make sure this name happens. My Tesla stock price target for year end 2024 is $3,000 per share. Subdivisions, I'm predicting that Tesla stock price in about 15 years will be somewhere around $48,893, which from today's date is roughly 48, 47X where we are today, which is a lot, <laughs> which is a lot. Hi friends, welcome back. So Tesla stock is down about 57% from the high. And uh, I wanna go over some of the things that's going on with this and what Elon Musk has said in the past. So uh, let's take a look at this for yourself. This was back in 2019. Elon Musk is talking to Lex Friedman. Have a listen for yourself. But capable is an interesting word because- mm -hmm. um, Like the hardware is. Yeah, the hardware. And as we refine the software, it, it, the capabilities will increase dramatically. Um, and. Okay, so he's talking about FSD. We're saying capable is an interesting word. <laughs> and Elon Musk is making claims that uh, the FSD is gonna increase dramatically, right? So listen to yourself. There's a little bit more I want you to hear. And the reliability will increase dramatically and then it will receive regulatory approval. So essentially buying a car today is an investment in the future. You're, you're essentially buying, a, a car. You're, you're buying, the, 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 I think the most profound thing is that if you buy a Tesla today, I believe you are buying an appreciating asset, not a depreciating asset. You heard it right there, guys. So uh, back in 2019, he was saying, guys, you got to buy Tesla because it's going to go up in value. Now we're talking about just the stock. We're talking about the cars are going to go up in value because it's going to be an appreciating asset. That's according to Elon Musk. Hear it for again for yourself. Not making this stuff up. This is what he really said, that your car is going to go up in value. But capable is an interesting word because... Mm -hmm. um, like the hardware is. Yeah, the hardware. And as we refine the software, it, it, the capabilities will increase dramatically. Um, and then the reliability will increase dramatically. And then it will receive regulatory approval. So essentially, buying a car today is an investment in the future. You're, you're essentially buying a, a car. You're, you're buying. The, 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 I think the most profound thing is that if you buy a Tesla today, I believe you are buying an appreciating asset, not a depreciating asset. So that's a really important statement there because if hardware, <laughs> I mean, like, is this guy for real? And um, people buy this stuff, right? People buy into the hype, people buy into the pumping and uh, essentially Elon Musk was telling you your Tesla is going to go up in value because it's an appreciating asset. And uh, this is the other stuff that uh, Elon Musk has, has uh, told you before that, uh, guys, you better buy F FSD because we're going to raise the price. Hurry. <laughs> this was back in 2019. Cost of Tesla full self-driving option increasing by 1,000 on, on August 16th. As mentioned earlier this year, cost of Tesla FSD option will increase every few months. Those who buy it early will see the benefit. So he's trying to you know sell you this thing, hurry, hurry, buy it. And he's trying to convince you that your car will go up in value. Uh, moreover, uh, he was talking in uh, just recently, December 23rd, 2023. Uh, this is Elon Musk. I stand by my prediction that if Tesla uh, executes extremely well over the next five years, that long-term value could exceed Apple and Aramco combined. <laughs> I, I'm just laughing because it's like people actually believe this stuff. So we're saying, you know, not only are we going to be worth more than Apple, we're going to be like double Apple, basically. It, it's so ludicrous. And, you know, I got to point this stuff out to you guys because... This is the world that we live in. We live in a world filled with hype, a bunch of scams, a bunch of people would basically lie to your face and just make crap up. Uh, what world do we live in where you're going to buy a car and like it's going to go up in value? I mean, it just, it's just a reality. Cars are depreciating assets. And moreover, Tesla's actually depreciate quite a bit. They have a real big problem, a um, couple big problems. So one is um, the new ones are being uh, price cut. So the people who have the older ones, uh, they're getting hit really hard in the reseller market because right, if you can buy a new one for cheaper, why mess with older ones? So you lose value there. And then the other big one is your battery um, uh, life as a, as a whole. Um, a lot of these cars, these EVs, we're still kind of unclear about what's going to happen to the, all of the batteries, you know, say 10 years from now, et cetera. For most of these cars, like a lot of your, your you know, values in the battery, the same way, say your iPhone, um, if you can't re replace the battery so easily, basically you just get a new phone. And that's sort of where resale for used EVs is not so great because of the battery situation. Um, moreover, you know, this is uh, something that he's talked about before in the past. 
Um, and this and this is some truth from him, at least. It says here, Elon Musk uh, says Tesla's market cap is directly tied to whether it solves autonomous driving. Because remember, the whole promise of it is, hey, you're all going to have robo taxis and you're going to get rich while you sleep because your car is going to be driving around by itself, picking up people like an Uber, right? And uh, it's funny here, the subtitle says, Musk has said for several years that Tesla is close. They're close, guys, to solving autonomous driving. Of course, it's a joke, right? They've been saying that for years. Now, I want to show you this. This is actually kind of why I'm making the video today. Um, the Farzad dude, right? He's one of the Tesla pumpers. Sometimes he's honest. And actually, in his video, they kind of show uh, some of the problems that uh, the current FSD uh, has. You can take a look for yourself. We'll watch it together here. And uh, this is at the 15-minute mark. You can watch it here. Doing parallel parking at on the v12 so now now it's tried that block now it's tried this block <laughs> we don't know if, if it's on purpose or by accident but it tried oh we got a car coming oh, oh i'm oh, gonna yeah. disengage yeah so that was not good behavior <laughs> so basically um the car was trying to pull out when there was a car coming you guys can see it right there and even farzad i mean this like in this environment it's hard for him to just make crap up right i mean he's just says natural reactions that's not good behavior and so you know, this is this is something that I, I, I just want to say, guys, we're, we're still pretty far away from this stuff ever working. Elon Musk was saying, oh, you know, regulatory approval, et cetera. We're a long ways from that as well. Um, and, and I'll show you guys again. So basically the, the car is a little bit too aggressive in entering intersection. That's basically what it is. Let's just watch. On the and then this is far as on who's a pumper so who now, can't even now deny it's it. Tried that that block. Block. Now it's tried this block. <laughs> we don't know if, if it's on purpose or by accident, but it tried. Oh, we got a car coming. Oh, oh I'm going to disengage. Yeah. Yeah, so that was not good behavior. Yeah. Now we're way too far forward. Uh, Re-engaged. Yeah. That was not good. So th there was a car coming on the left and it tried to enter the intersection. And it really shouldn't have done that. That was not good. Okay, so there's <laughs> one for the Tesla team to fix. Yeah, you guys can see it for yourself. So we're still a long ways from this thing. I I'm sure he'll... He'll, he'll talk about, hey, we didn't get an accident at least, et cetera, but um, they had to disengage it. And the other thing too, um, and you don't need to waste your time with this whole thing. I just wanted to show you that small part. Um, the other thing too is is that, you know, this is on a sunny day, we're in a small town, et cetera. There's any number of, you know, situations that the car could be in. And I think we're just so far away from FSD ever working, if, if it even, you know, works ever, uh, or even gets regulatory approval. That's just my, my feelings on this stuff. Um, and, and this is kind of funny, you know, I was mentioning this stuff, you know, today you can easily look up, you know, is your car going up or down in value? It's a car, guys. <laughs> it's not going to go up in value. Um, moreover, um, this is actually kind of interesting as well. Um, talking about the, um, the uh, FSD thing. So I guess when Tesla sells it to you, um, they'll sell it to you. I, I don't know the going rate is like 15K or something like that. And um, people were complaining when they trade their Tesla in. Um, this is back on um, July 3rd, 2023. They basically mark down the value of your SSD considerably. So, um, I guess uh, for some people, they, yeah, they'll sell it for fifteen thousand in USA, and then nineteen five in Canadian dollar, and then when you try to trade it in, you'll get a hit on that. So, they're, they're, people are all complaining about that. Um, here's an example. Here, there's a comment that says, uh, "Absolutely agree." Tesla gave me a low trade-in offer for my 2018 Model Three mid range with FSD. When I got a call from a Tesla sales associate, I said that I would not consider a trade-in until Tesla allows me to transfer my FSD to a new vehicle. I bought FSD in 2021 at a discount, but still. And I actually think that's a, a really good point um, from a customer service standpoint, if, if you are buying said software. Um, to be fair also to, to Tesla, it, it's kind of like if I buy Windows for one machine and then I go buy a new machine, you know, can you transfer the Windows from the one to the other? Usually they just want to sell you another copy of Windows. I mean, it's just sort of how this licensing stuff works. So um, that would be a, obviously a great service for Tesla if you just kind of subscribe to thing. And then like I'll give you another example. Let's say uh, I described, you know, subscribe to, you know, Apple Music or Apple TV or Netflix, for example, and I change TVs, I can use my Netflix or, you know, get my point. I can I can use my Netflix on different devices. So uh, evidently, though, Tesla doesn't see it that way. They're connecting FSD to the car, at least according to this, as of 2023. And um, this is something that that I I, I just think, you know, I, I want you guys to, to, to turn on your sort of BS detectors out there in the world. And also, too, I, I present this stuff with all you uh, in the community because, frankly, um, the Tesla stock is the most popular stock among retail people, and a lot of it is driven on hype. And, uh, you know, when a lot of these uh, essentially retail investors are down now, 57% from the high, they're probably scratching their head. What's going on? I don't understand. Stocks only go up, et cetera. 
And I just want you to understand, like, like this whole thing is, is based on the stuff of Elon Musk basically hyping up the stuff, followed by a bunch of social media influencers, etc. And it's always the same story: uh, over promise, under deliver. And uh, you know, turn on your turn on your you know your your, your BS detection here when someone's telling you that their company's gonna be worth like double of Apple. And just think about that for a moment here. <laughs> Does that even sound like plausible? Uh, my my answer is no, it doesn't at all. Um, but that's just my feelings on this. I'm sure the pumpers will tell you something different. Um, but at least for a moment, the far as I do did tell you the truth that uh, it's not good when the car goes out into the intersection and possibly gets hit, so they had to disengage it. But remember back in 2019, he, uh, Elon Musk was telling you your car's gonna go up in value, which didn't come true. So uh, keep, a, keep a eye on this kind of stuff and remember uh, what people said in the past and uh, don't forget. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next video. My Tesla stock price target for year end 2024 is $3,000 per share. In 2024, I am expecting the two biggest catalysts to date in the history of Tesla, RoboTaxis doing their first fully autonomous fares somewhere on planet Earth, most likely in the US, maybe in China, and the release of the $25,000 Tesla, aka the Tesla Q. Please, if anyone at Tesla is watching, make sure this name happens. My Tesla stock price target for year end 2024 is $3,000 per share. Subdivisions, I'm predicting that Tesla stock price in about 15 years will be somewhere around $48,893, which from today's date is roughly 48, 47X where we are today, which is a lot, <laughs> which is a lot.